Hi everyone, this is Ash Marks, and I'm here to make a video about uh, resolution changes in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell and Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Now, this is relevant for speedrunners because uh, in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, the cutscenes are actually just video files, uh, and they load between every mission, uh, and they're always at the resolution 640 by 480. So. Basically, if you run the game in full screen and you have a resolution higher than or even lower than 640 by 480 set, uh, the game will like turn your screen black and you'll have to load like the resolution change on your screen. And some screens do it faster than others, some screens do it slow. Uh, my, sc my screen does it really, really slowly. I have a BenQ something GL2460, something like that. Um, but my screen does it really slowly, so in order to fix this weird delay and basically time loss that speedrunners suffer from, essentially, uh, you want to run the game at the resolution that the cutscenes are at. So I run the game at 640 by 480 since the cutscenes are run at 640 by 480 Now, uh, to do this, uh, so I have an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, if you have an AMD, I'm sure there's also a way to do it in in their Catalyst control center, I think it's called. Maybe there's a new... I haven't had an AMD card in a while. but uh, So I open uh, NVIDIA control panel. Actually, I don't have to do very much. So here is NVIDIA control panel. And I go to... You could do this, so you go to change resolution, and then you customize, and then you add a 640 by 480. Now, I actually don't need to use this anymore. I figured out that, uh, I mean, th so you can still do this. Uh, the only benefit of doing this now is that, or th that I figured out anyway, is that when starting the game up, you won't have to wait for the resolution change. Other than that, the resolution changes between cutscenes actually still are fine. Uh, and I hope I can demonstrate this. I don't know if I can through OBS, but I'll try. So if I start play, yeah. Oh, okay, it does go black. So yeah, you can see the screen goes black. That's weird that it renders it like that. I didn't know that it renders it like that. That's weird. But um, so you can see the game is like really small and I'm in the upper left corner here. Um, and it's because I'm running it at 640 by 480. So if I start game, load, levels, and I go into training, there will be a cutscene right when I press start game. See, there's a cutscene. And that's also 640 by 480. So I haven't had, like, I did not have any blackout resolution change uh, during any of that. I literally saw what you guys saw. Um, if I didn't run the game at 640 by 480, I would have... A bunch of weird problems. So that's Splinter Cell 1. Um, back on the desktop here. So Chaos Theory is a bit special. Um, so the game natively runs in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Uh, most people have 16 by 9 monitors like this one. This is 1920 by 1080. Um, but I don't like the look of stretched games like that. I despise it. I cannot deal with aspect ratio stretching or scaling or anything like that. So that's really... I don't know why my Steam's doing that. But anyway, so to run Chaos Theory, you have to do the same thing that you did in Splinter Cell 1, but uh, it's on level load. It's on map load. So whenever... Uh, whenever you start a level in Chaos Theory, you'll have a, a blackout, and your screen will have to change resolution. resolution. Um, this can be fixed by playing the game at, if you have a 1920, uh, 1080p monitor, you can run the game at 1080p, and you won't have that issue. Um, but if you're like me, and you hate aspect ratio scaling, uh, I'm sure there's, again, I'm sure there's a way to do this on AMD cards, uh, but I go and I just change the resolution to 1280 by 960 because that's the biggest 4x3 resolution that uh, that Splinter Cell 3, uh, 4x3 resolution that Splinter Cell 3 supports. That's what I'm trying to say. 
So now you can see that I'm in uh, 4x3. Um, I'm going to quickly do this. Give me one second. Boop. Okay, there we go. So uh, this is actually 1280 by 960. I know it's filling the screen right now, but I made it so that it does that in OBS. So uh, now that I'm in this resolution, this is so weird. I don't know why Steam is doing this to me right now. But if I click play in Chaos Theory, if it will let me, where is it? Oh, let me just load it up through here. Boom. So now uh, Chaos Theory will load up. And you have to match your monitor resolution to the game resolution. You just have to. If you don't, then you're going to get that black screen loading on map load. So you can see in display, I have 1280 by 960 here. And then, you know, I got, you know, whatever, all my settings and stuff. So if I load a game now, actually, let's just do new game. New game normal, select. And then I'll get through the debriefing, Pressure. blah, blah, blah. And the game, for me, just loads. Like, I'm moving around right now. But you guys had, like, a weird blackout. I think that's due to... Do you have to jump? Oh, that's not the rock. Um, I think that's due to me using display capture currently. I can try to use game capture. I think you'll actually see it all. Um, but I had no, like, blackout. So yeah, that's that's how you do it for Splinter Cell 1 and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. That's how you fix the weird blackout resolution changes that you have. Why is it black right now? That's Yeah, that's some special stuff. I don't know why Steam is being strange with me. But yeah, uh, I hope that's helpful. I hope that was understandable. Sometimes I can ramble. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.